Now, if you can operate a, a thorium reactor without any uranium-238 present in the fuel, then you can really reduce the amount of transuranic waste you're going to generate. And the reason for that is the thorium absorbing a neutron, each one of these vertical steps is a neutron absorption. So thorium absorbing the neutron, 90% of the time will be fissioned by the next neutron. Now, 10% of the time it will go to U-234, which will absorb another neutron going to U-235. Think of these as like off-ramps off the freeway. So uh, if 90% of the cars exit the freeway on the first off-ramp and 85% of the cars that are left over exit the freeway on the next off-ramp, uh, how many are there to make your first transuranic? Only 1.5%. So with the thorium cycle, you could potentially get down to 1.5% of the long-lived waste production of the, of the uranium cycle. And that's a big advantage.